Watkins, Watkins and uh, Mr. Phil Hawkins. And so, Mr. Hawkins, let's see if we can get some information from you, uh, because we were unable to get it the last time, right. from you in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences that led you to us this morning, and then make some statements in reference to child support in Tennessee, and then we'll go move to uh, Mr. Watkins and okay. al allow him to sort of uh, finish this segment for the morning. Okay. Well, I came out of Glencliff High School, like my uh, <coughs> buddy here, didn't graduate, went through the system to graduate, get GED, and just got, you know, going through life changes, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. But we also been in the child support system, like he said, 20, 30 years, but well, we can't win, you know, and it's time for us to take back our stand on it. We keep falling for everything. We got to stand for something. And this child support thing that got to be, well, the average man these days don't even want to work a job. You know, mm -hmm. they take a half his check, the child at home don't get the money, the state taking all their money, and then you left with $100, $200 to feed for two or three kids. So mm -hmm. that's what we made and know we're taking, we're taking them back our lives. Mm -hmm. We're addressing the issues now. It's time for us to, you know, do what we need to do to get these fathers back home. Maybe we, we stop some of this gun violence, you know, mm -hmm. because the father's not there, he can't raise his kids. Mm -hmm. But if you bring a father in, he can discipline his kids. The state can't do it by itself no more. Now, when we talk about child support, uh, and I think a large number of members of our audience might think in terms of supporting that child for a certain amount of years and et cetera. But what, what's your view in terms of child support, which is to say that you are paying for your child, yes, sir. but at the same time, there are some issues that, that you that you like to deal with. Yes, sir. Well, I, found, well, I found out just the other day, I'm advocating child support every day. I just found out the other day, I was with uh, my kid's parents, my kid's mother, 24 years. And I just found the other day, I, I'm 139000 behind on child support payments. So where, how that system add up? I was with my kids every day of their life, each, mm -hmm. all three of them. But I'm behind, I take care of my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, it's how the system is trying to portray us as not doing, because we're not paying the system. Mm -hmm. But we keep paying the system, we can't, pay the, we can't feed the child. We gotta have something for a man to live. And so, you, uh, uh, are you still with your wife? No, sir. But, but, you, but, you're, still, but you're still paying for, yes, to support your children. Every day. And you feel that uh, they're taking more money out of whatever salary you have. Yes, sir. Uh, and mo some of that money does not go to the child. None of the money but, go back. But, mo but the money, in, in, for the most part, uh, goes to the state. Yes, sir. Well, what do you think about that, Mr. Wa uh, uh, Mr. Watkins? <laughs> I mean, and, and it's true, because... Um, as you just asked me about going towards child, it's true. I've had the mother me call me, ask me, uh, well, when, when is your job going to send the money? I said, what do you mean? It's coming out of my check. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they send it when they want to send it. And um, it causes conflict within the household. Mm -hmm. I've lost a house. I've lost, well, I lost my family. I've lost cars. I've lost jobs and everything. I've lost my freedom yeah. over, over child support. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it took a real, real big toll on me uh, mentally. And emotionally, because you know, I desire to be home with my kids. My kids, my kids are my everything, and, and to take me out of my home uh, because I, I fell behind on a bill, you know, that's like, come on, man, you, you're not just taking me out of home. What do you mean when you say to take you out of your home? How does that? Uh, when, you, when you take a person out of home, when you take a person's job from them, mm -hmm. what is that man going to do? He's going to wind up trying to figure out a way to go out here and get some money. Mm -hmm. Because if you love your kids, you're going you're gonna to revert to anything that's in the means necessary to get the money to feed your kids mm -hmm. or do what you can do. So, yes, I've made some choices in life to where I started going towards the street life. Mm -hmm. Because of why? Because every time I, I turned around, I was getting, I was getting harassed. I was, if I wasn't... I was getting harassed by, the, by the, uh, the judges to the point to where they was like, well, this is the, this is the state law. So is it state law, then okay, if I can't make this money, you taking all the money, my kids not getting paid, my life's getting cut off, this is happening. Well, I gotta hear them go out here and find another way to uh, get this money because not only am I hearing from you all, but I'm also hearing it from her. <laughs> you know, and, and when that's all that takes, all that comes into play, it pushes a man outside that household to where he's looking to where, like, man, what am I gonna do? So when we sit up here and we, on, we look at these uh, other young men out here on these streets and they're trying to do different things, you know, when I talk, when the first thing come out of their mouth, man, I got I to gotta feed my kids, man. And, you know, it's, it's like that's where that uh, destruction come in. So we, me and Phil Hawkins, we have been through it and we have fought through many things to try to uh, maintain a fatherly a relationship with our kids and everything, which we are, which we still do. Just because they took us out the home don't mean we still ain't in our kids' lives. But uh, we, we still try to 
try to you know educate the younger men, the, uh, the future, and everything. Mm -hmm. To hey, we're gonna try to get some help because I I know where you've been, I know mm -hmm. where you're going and stuff. So, um, uh, 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 <clears throat> Phil, when you think in terms of child support in Tennessee, what would you consider to be the most destructive thing that the state of Tennessee is doing in order to either uh, help you or prevent you from uh, really supporting your children? I mean, the first thing they're doing, they, not, they need to let the dads or father be a father. The state cannot raise or come in a household and raise, them, raise kids. And that's what they're doing. They make sure the father's not there by leading the mother wrong Make sure the father not there. So there you go. You got a, a son and daughter just being raised by the system. And we already know that's going to lead to a, a broken cycle. So we are here now trying to bring that cycle to, to fix the broken cycle, you know, to get this right. Bring the fathers back in the home, take care of the kids, take care of their families. It's just a man up process. You know, we, we need help with it. And, 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 and so if, if, if the state is paying that household child support, mm -hmm. the father cannot be in the household. Is that what we're saying? Yes, that's right. And, 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 and so which means that I think as you were indicating, Mr. Watkins, that that sort of pushes you out into the street. Yeah. It, you see, in order for her to receive. You know, a man is going to try to figure out some way to not only did you push that man outside that household, but he also got to go find a house to where he got to stay now. Right. So that's another bill. That's another situation where he got to like, okay, he got to go and try to wind up in a, a shelter. You wind up in a hotel. You wind up in a friend house. You, you bouncing around, bouncing around in different places trying to live and trying to uh, provide and stuff, it, it takes away yourself, uh, uh, yourself, uh, uh, self esteem, self -esteem. Mm -hmm. yeah. spiral. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. it's, that's, that's what we call destruction. Yeah. So it's, it's when, 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 you know, it, it does a lot of good, but then also it does a lot of harm too. Mm -hmm. Because when you take, a, take that man out of that household, then you got these, these uh, young boys running around here and then you telling me I can't, I can't, I can't discipline my child. Mm -hmm. Then you go to school, you, you get in trouble, you get secret indictments out on you because of uh, you discipline your child because your child said it. Mm -hmm. Well, the man in the household doing something wrong, so let's get him out of there. Mm -hmm. No, not every mm -hmm. man is doing something, something destructive to tear his child down. So you there know? is a, over the last 22 seconds we have in this segment, mm -hmm. there is no father in a household where there is child support. Right. right. Okay. And the ones there, the uh -huh. state still want their money too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said no way about it. That creates a real problem. <laughs> and right. of course, what we'll do, we'll take this second commercial break and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 